let's take a discussion about volume volume relationships as we discussed earlier stoichiometric calculations are of three types mass 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 volume and volume volume relationships so let's have a simple problem related to volume volume relationships volume volume means volume of one of the component will be given and they are going to ask you about the volume of the another one okay so look at this simple question find the volume of o2 required at stp and the volume of co2 liberated at stp when 2 liters of ethene is combusted 2 liters of ethene at stp as mentioned so volume is given and they are asking you the volume of o2 and volume of co2 so this question is related to volume volume relationships so here we have to include ethene also at stp okay right so have a look at this equation c2h4 plus 3o2 gives rise to 2co2 plus 2h2o as we know this is a balanced chemical equation called as stoichiometric equation now first we will calculate oxygen required so let's take the relation between c2h4 and o2 because c2h4 volume is given and oxygen volume they are asking one mole ethene and three moles of oxygen are there in the balanced equation one mole ethene means 22.4 liters three moles of oxygen means 3 into 22.4 liters so the question is very simple in our question it is given 2 liters so 2 liters requires how much 2 into 3 22.4 by 22.4 that is nothing but 6 liters 6 liters of oxygen is required at stp for this 2 liters of ethene at stp conditions let's have a look at carbon dioxide found again the same equation balanced equation the relation between c2h4 and co2 one mole c2h4 two moles of co2 c2h4 is again given one mole means 22.4 liters co2 is two moles means 2 into 22.4 liters the question is asked for two liters of ethene so a simple calculation 2 into 2 into 22.4 by 1 into 22.4 it's nothing but 4 liters of co2 is formed at stp okay so in this case actually there is no need to solve like this very big you can simply use your common sense and you can say because when the question is about volume volume both are going to be measured at stp conditions like one mole occupies 22.4 liters for example see here we are writing 22.4 here also 22.4 and you are going to cancel them so instead of writing all this simply you see the mole ratio one mole requires three moles of oxygen means one liter requires three liters so two liters requires six liters here you can see one mole requires gives two moles of co2 that means one liter gives you two liters and the question is asked about two liters so it will give you four liters so there is no need to put 22.4 and cancel those simply the mole ratio is nothing but the volume ratio according to our under similar conditions of pressure and temperature equal number of molecules will be having equal number of equal volumes all equal volumes will be having equal number of moles right i think you got these points